and basically woven around your hand, your four, your four fingers two at a time in a, a figure eight pattern. As you inflate this balloon, allowing it to pop in and out of your fingers, you'll get uh, a serpentine look. Burp it a little bit, tie it. At this point, I twist off about a two finger bubble. That will be an ear twist in a moment. I make a fold twist for the head, twisting off the fold twist. You'll now see that you'll take the nozzle and pull it in thereby completing the serpentine look. With my marker, I will put two slashes, like so, two circles, like so, small marks for the eyes, two nostrils. At this point, I take a heart barely put a little air in it so the lobes stick out. Tie that off so that you now have, as you put it through the face of the snake, pull the knot up to one end and the uh, bubble down to the other, you now have the uh, serpent's fork tongue. Secure that in your tree in any way that you feel is uh, good. I usually just stick him in there and then turn his head so that he's uh, looking toward the children or the adults if you're doing this for the adults. Okay, God, we're on. The very first time I did this, uh, upstairs in this church, in the children's church area. My son was with me. I started at 5 o'clock in the evening. I didn't finish until 9.45 the next morning. Around about 8 o'clock, my son went to get up off the floor. I had a pile of brown balloons from this chair about this large. I think they were a little bit old because I had had them around for a while and didn't use them a lot. and went to get a fresh bag of brown for this uh, filming. But I had a lot of broken brown balloons and the more they broke, the more discouraged I became. 